Hi guys, it's Bernd here and I want to take a closer look at the M3 Max chip of uh, from Apple uh, in the MacBook Pro M3 Max version with 16 cores and 16 inch height. Um, and for that purpose, I'm using Reaper. Why I re use Reaper? Because there is this nice guy, James Zan. I hope he is spelled like that, that did a very good archetype Nolly benchmark test on the M1, M2 Pro and M3 Pro machines, where he counted or, or where he basically copied a mono DI track of a guitar uh, about a hundred times and saw uh, just to see if the system could handle it. As far as I can remember with the M1 and M2 Pro machines he could run about 91 tracks and with the M3 Pro in Reaper he was able to play about 105 tracks. So let's see what the M3 Max can handle. So first of all, we're looking at the Reaper settings here. I go to the audio device settings and you see I'm in 44, 100 and have a, a buffer size of about 1024. Here you see my buffering settings. I'm on fret pri priority highest and the behavior is automatic. Why? Because I found out that in automatic behavior, the CPU, uh, is not uh, as stressed as uh, if it would be when I change something here. So basically you can see here I have the Nolly, Archetype Nolly plugin here on high oversampling mode in mono. And this is a guitar DI track and you can listen to it how it sounds. <laughs> So basically just a simple um, guitar sound. So let's copy that to about 30 times now and then let's see how the system load is. So you can see we have 28 and let's start to play but first of all I'm going to reduce the sound here a little bit, otherwise it would be too loud. So you can see here that the cores are well distributed. So every core has its bunch of processing. We're on 30 tracks right now. So let's hit command A and copy all of these 30 tracks and look if the system can handle it. I have to tell you, I have been, uh, I spent my last 10 years on Windows machines. Prior to that, I used Macs uh, for audio, but I was never really happy with them because performance wise. So I changed to Windows and everything went better, but uh, I mean, the last two to three years, were the best because Windows uh, uh, or especially Intel processors were so damn fast and so damn, uh, damn capable of handling audio that it was really a pleasure. But this year I thought, oh, why not change to an M3 Max? It sounds very, very uh, interesting for me because of its power and capabilities of the processors. So I wanted to give it a try and from what I saw I'm very happy with it, especially when taking into account that it's not a desktop machine. So now let's see if it can handle that. 60 tracks.
yeah, you can hear basically no problem. So let's go to about 90 tracks, which was the maximum, or 91, was the maximum on the M1 Pro and M2 Pro chips in that kind of setting. So I'm sorry I have a little bit of a cold today, um, but I hope you can understand me. So we are about at 90 tracks, let's insert one more track. So we have 91 tracks, which was, as I said it before, uh, the maximum uh, amount of tracks the M1 Pro and M2 Pro could handle in James' test. So as you could see, the CPU hit at about 57%. There was no real stress saw uh, uh, seen on the on the memory pressure. So let's carry on. Insert 40 more tracks that we hit the maximum amount, amount the maximum amount of the tracks that James could play on the M3 Pro. Let's see what we have now. Okay, we have 106. So let's try 106, why not? Okay, 106 tracks, no problem. Let's carry on, insert 10 more. So 116 tracks, let's try that out. Okay, for a laptop, that is pretty much insane. On my old Ryzen 4800H uh, laptop, I could only run 77 tracks, 75, yeah, of this particular test. Uh, on my, otherwise on my new Windows machine, the 13900K, I could run about 180 tracks of this. So let's see how the M3 Max stacks up to that count. So let's give him 50, 40 more to about 130 tracks. Yeah, 131, let's try that out. Okay, 131 tracks, you see clearly no problem, but we're hitting a little bit of the limit here on the cores. So let's see how that stacks up if I uh, add nine more tracks to about 140. Okay, 140 tracks, let's start.
Okay, you can see 140 tracks, no problem. I mean, that is really clearly insane for a laptop. So let's give him 10 more to 150 and see how that does. tracks now let's see That's simply so, so crazy. It could handle 150 tracks. I mean, that's totally desktop. That's insane for a desktop, but it's insane especially for a computer. And you know what, guys? I simply can't hear my fans. I mean, they're running, they're running, my fans, but they're so quietly running. It's, it's like... You see, we, we hit a uh, 97 on a CPU monitor and they are quietly running. There's nowhere near to be loud or as loud, especially as my old Intel machines, my Intel laptops. They are quietly running. Okay, to make it clear, I tried to do this uh, video uh, two times before and the problem with, the, with this comparison is that this computer or that that reaper is going to blow up when i hit the 160 mark but i tried to test without screen recording and without recording myself and i was able to play 164 164 tracks on the m3 max laptop you have to keep that in mind. On my 13900K Intel workstation, I was able to play 177 to 180 tracks. On, on that monster of machine, on, on the M3 Max, I was able to play 164. That is insane. So let's try here 160. 60 i don't know if that will work while recording but let's try it i guess it will not work yeah. okay you can clearly see he's having problems now uh, Let's delete one track. Okay, he's get he, he's in trouble now, but it's obviously because I'm screen recording and recording myself so that I can speak to you. As I mentioned before, I was able to play 164 tracks without screen recording. So guys, now it's up to you. I mean, you decide if the M3 Max is good for music production. In my opinion, yes. I mean, come on, it's so portable. I literally take it to my real studio because I'm sitting now at home and get it on a table and run a whole studio without any problem. I mean, that is crazy. And I like it that it's crazy. but. Some may say, oh, the M3 Max or even the M2 Ultra or, or, or M2 Max, they are completely overkill. I don't know, maybe the M2 Max was overkill because it was just giving more GPU cores and not uh, CPU cores. But I don't think the M3 Max is overkill. It got 12 performance cores, 4 efficiency cores, and I think 
maybe at this point in time it's yeah it's overkill but you and me nobody knows what will be in two three four years i mean the machine's getting powerful or uh, more powerful so maybe all of the of our plugins will utilize more power in in the future and be even better than now so you need obviously then a more powerful machine so in my mind no it's not overkill it is exactly what you should get for doing music production when you are a professional mixer and your projects are about 70 to 120 tracks uh, with audio MIDI etc so that's all for me I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a comment down below and hit the subscribe button I'm no big YouTube guy but let's talk about it